Star Run, Craig Hansen, guys, right. Who's got the best swing in the world? Well, we're going to go through some amazing swings. This one's not far off it. Rory McIlroy. Guys, really interesting video as we look at the best swingers in world golf. I'm interested to hear your opinions. So leave your comments and questions underneath as we go through some of the unique moves and some of the things that they have in common. Perhaps we can pick up a thing or two and learn something for our own games. Which is very, very interesting, especially when you're looking at an action like this. Rory McIlroy, without a doubt, one of the best drivers of the ball of all time. The guy is hitting it absolutely a mile, 300 yards and more in the air. He's only small, but he connects wonderfully with the ground and can bend and move his body into positions that only a few can. Right, now why is he so fast? Well, let's have a look at this action firstly on the right. Not many people can swing a driver and look great. When they get the job done, they might hit a lot of fairways, but this actually looks just remarkable, doesn't it? Now let's have a look at this swing here on the right side. Look at the speed of this, and he remains in perfect balance. Now look how fast that is, isn't that absolutely Unbelievable. Now for me, personally, that is the best driver swing that I have ever seen in my life. I have never seen anyone come even really close to that and, and look that good, right? So before we get into other swings, let's talk about the iron swing and the driver swing because it really is remarkable. Now he's spoken about this. He talks about his feels that he used for the, for the driver loading up. Now it's the longest club. It's the lightest club, it's the fastest club. And generally speaking, we've seen, you know, over the years, the best drivers of the ball have been wider swingers, longer swingers. You know, they've got more time to find all the right areas and hit it sort of more with a longer flat spot down the bottom. But you can see the different moves between the iron and the driver. Now, that is what I find absolutely remarkable. We don't really see that that often. A much wider takeaway how he can bend and twist his body. Look at the movement down with the head. And we're gonna see him here, I'll just pop a line up here, over on the outside of this lead leg. It's a huge lateral shift and down and moves into the ground. You see the step over with the lead foot. Have a look at this, people. Watch and then we've seen Garcia do this, you've seen Hogan do this, you've seen Nicholas, you've seen so many great players actually step over subconsciously and around about this stage, he starts to see how far his head's moved down. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Two averages around three inches of movement downwards. It helps him hang on to their angles and, and use the ground as leverage. He starts to lift back up a little bit now. And you'll see that the feet actually move in together. Watch the heels now, sort of like a scissor kick. And it's like a sponge, isn't it? Like you're, you're sort of getting that, squeezing that last little bit of water out of the sponge. He's almost like he's finished with the ground now and the energy moves back up into that unbelievable finish position. Big lateral shift with the iron swing. A lot of shaft lean into impact. we will see around 15 degrees. Tour average is around 12, 75 there, and 90 degrees being zero. Movement downwards. What a golf swing this guy has. Two completely different moves when we're looking at the driver swing and the iron swing. Guys, you know, when you're looking at the hallmarks, of great ball striking. How often have we seen, you know, this move, if you've seen some of my other videos here, when we're looking at great plane and moving that club down and bringing that club head, if you're using your mobile phones, guys, that's what we're showing a lot of people at worldclassgolf.com, bring that club in behind the hands. If you don't have a flight scope, if you don't have a track man, and you can get closer and closer to this position, I'm gonna show you throughout this video, as we look at the best swingers in the world, how many of them are in this position, right? Let's go on. So I run right for it, couples. What an amazing golf swing. I've never seen anybody hit it this far before with, it's just such a relaxed golf swing. And uh, how's this for a hole in one? Slam dunks it and check out the way he just walks off. So like there's people everywhere, right? He just slam dunks it and then, there you go. <laughs> Red couples. Have a look at the rhythm and the time that this swing has. It, uh, how he could hit the ball that far. He was just so famous for hitting the ball that far. It was just, uh, I know a couple of players that uh, I taught play with Fred and they just said it. They just could not believe how good he hit it. And uh, when you're looking at nothing moves at the top, but all these great players, they all have this move. Have a look at this. Everything just wound up to the top. And then you've got that right leg quiet, but you've got that left hip going. And this is, you know, when you're looking still at, at the, the hallmarks of really of great ball strikers, 
what are we often seeing? And there's something that I've been showing a lot of people. You know, you've got your four to six inches of lateral shift through the golf ball. Uh, Fred's got a little bit more than that. But when you have a look here, very, very centered head and turns around that. Big shoulder turn. And look at that left side, all just lined up beautifully. And then you'll see a little bit of movement down. But look at this lead hip move forwards. It really is a large lateral shift here. And obviously no one just about has much lag, which I'll show you in a second from you know, coming down as Fred Couples, but uh, we've spoken, you know, recently about the, the knee hitting the wall and, and the, uh, the lateral shift and really, you know, looking at the evidence-based material. So the hallmarks of great ball strikers, they do have these, these similar moves. And when you're really looking, I've been showing people this move on the way back here, regardless of really who's out there, when we're looking at uh, these great ball strikers, we're still seeing that club come in behind the hands. And if you're using your mobile phones, which we're showing you how to do, Guys, a world-class golf instruction. If you're looking for online lessons, check out craighansongolf.com. Your mobile phones, you've all got a little bit of a high-speed camera there. That position there, if you don't have a flight scope or your track man, you're getting yourself, look at the footwork here. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? And uh, look at that releasing over. Now, I've spoken about that recently with the toe of the club moving up to 12 o'clock for a lot of people trying to free up their swings. Now, this lag angle coming down, Really, we're seeing him move through the golf ball with the hands not coming on the club and the lead wrist moving into extension. Now, a lot of people believing if I just that you have to hang on to your angles even after impact. But look at the lag on this thing here, right? Look at the angles coming down. Not many people out there with as much lag. One of the biggest I've ever seen, perhaps Mickelson also, somewhere around there. And then letting it go, so much so, look at this lead hand here, that the grip is something I spoke about to you guys recently. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Again, the end of the grip to actually point towards the target before you hit. It's more of a drill for a lot of people out there. But, you know, otherwise you're going to run into a wall. So if you're trying to get these angles to, you know, really work, and I'll show you Adam Scott coming up, which is remarkable just in a second. And we'll just see these hands working. And on the other side, guys, you'll see... You know, if you look at the lag, the lag master here, you'll see the lead wrist moving back into extension here. So don't be fooled by a lot of the stuff out there by hanging on to angles, right? You've got to be able to match it up on this side. But what a wonderful golf swing it is. So guys, Adam Scott, many say the best swing in world golf. What an athlete, X number one, a US master champion. And when the guy hits it good, he really does take ball striking uh, to a different level. I had the chance uh, to have a, a wonderful conversation uh, a couple of years back with Mark Leishman, who lives very close and play a lot of golf together. And he said, "You've when he starts hitting it really good, you've never really seen anything like it. Not the best putter, but great structure and some wonderful moves. Probably the best hand motion in the world. I'll show you that coming up, a unique move through the ball, something that really nobody has or does uh, like this guy, hits it an absolute mile. And when you watch him hit golf balls, and I've seen him quite a few times when I've been teaching the Australian Open, you'll see that the, the divot and how straight the divots are and how they're just, they're not big divots, but they're absolutely perfect. And it's almost like a machine and it's great to see him back in form. Right, let's get in there and have a look at uh, some of these wonderful moves of this in incredible golf swing. And really when you're looking at... Uh, Averages of movement, there's something I've been showing a lot of people on world-class golf instruction. Well, what swing is better from the front view than this thing? Uh, what a golf swing. We see him pivoting slightly downwards here. Uh, we know we've got around three inches of movement downwards so that great players can hold on to their angles and hit it with some shaft lean. We've got four to six inches of lateral movement. That's the PGA average. We'll get a line up over the golf ball here, uh, illustrating the finish line. We've spoken about that recently. The knee hitting the line. Look at the lateral movement, leg work, foot work right up and what have we got around two average about 12 degrees of shaft lean well, this one we've got around 13 or 14 degrees 90 being straight up in here so this is this is the part of the swing the closer you're getting to these positions people really you know the better you're going to hit the ball many commentators saying that he keeps his spine angle all the time I'm not quite sure why they're saying that because they probably haven't drawn any lines over the head but really looking at the back view before we explore this incredible hand motion here I'm just going to show you something here. He's always been, he's been talking recently about his shoulders and, and the last few years where he's, he lost his swing and his shoulder plane got too flat. And you'll see him often bending forwards and um, keeping the toe of the club sort of 
uh, in a stronger position or more towards one o'clock. But you can see here that we're around 41, 40 degrees. And, and now I see him, he sort of lowered the swing. And this is where he sort of had it when he was around number one. He had the tendency to get very high with his arms. And I like how it's more compact at the top now. And once again, you know, when you're looking at great uh, wrist work and hand work and this position coming into the ball, this is something we're continually showing people. Now, the averages, the closer you get to these positions, the better you hit. And look at that. Now this hand motion. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Now let's have a look at this hand motion through the ball because have you ever seen anything like it and thanks to Michael Field, what a wonderful video this is. Look at this hand in motion, we've got the shoulder plane here close to high 50s with that lead shoulder, we know he does that so well um, but look at these wrists here as we zoom in a little bit closer and that underneath style of release and you know, you know he likes to hit like a one meter draw, he can hit it both ways of course but that, he never hits it left. And it's that type of release. Well, a bit like Jason Day, we've seen Hunter Main and Hogan, players like that, is moving that, but nobody seems to get it quite like uh, this incredible motion of Adam Scott. What a unique move through the golf ball. Pop your hands into that position. We've got some videos on that on World Class Golf Instruction. Work your way back and see what type of sensations it gives you guys. There's Adam Scott. Let's move on to the next great. So guys, Lewis Oosthuizen, what a golf swing. And uh, what a golf, what a golfer he is. Uh, just such a compact, balanced, rhythmical motion. We'll take you through a few things in this uh, golf swing. A wonderful iron player, and uh, he just seems to have all the time in the world. Pinpoint iron play, one of the best iron players out there, and just constantly hitting short irons down the line. I love the way that this guy plays. He plays so aggressively and uh, takes, even though he's not uh, the longest hitter, he is definitely not short and he's swinging around 113 miles per hour. But what we're seeing, which is too average anyway, but what we're seeing is he's, he's taking driver uh, all over the place actually, and um, which makes him in a way a long hitter, if you know what I mean, rather than hitting irons or three woods, you see him uh, being very, very aggressive. Now, when you're looking at this action, and there's some wonderful things, you know, in this golf swing, the thing that stands out is really is one of my favorite goal swings. The thing that really stands out for me is the how centered that he stays and this pivot, how he gets everything to collect so wonderfully up the top. And this is what really makes great goal swings is the ability to stay extremely centered and still and pivot and get everything moving and collecting together at the top. And then what you're seeing from here is this wonderful separation that uh, a lot of people struggle with. You're seeing really the, the hips moving a long way forwards. Look at that movement there as he moves forwards. And in that initial part, how he just keeps that right leg quiet. There's such a great balance on both feet as he extends this left side up. And uh, look at that left leg position there. And a very, very strong release. But with his shorter irons, he really holds the shots off. And you'll see him moving through the ball there with a big release wonderful action and into a very solid finish position. I love the look of this downswing as we see him bring that club down. As you've seen so many times in my videos here guys, we've seen him bring that club in slightly behind the hands. One of the hallmarks of great ball strikers and great ball striking. And really looking at the separation from the top half here, we can see Lewis here just getting that lead hip here which I'm just showing on another video recently, see that separation from that top there and keeping that right leg slightly backwards and then moving through the ball and arching the back. These hands through the golf ball, what we're seeing a lot of the time is from these great players, they're really releasing the club and that lead hand or the back of that hand will often move back into extension, something that we also saw with couples. So don't be fooled with what's actually happening, you know, with this, uh, these positions and these wrists through the ball, as we see the end of that grip, a uh, great drill and exercise, but a lot of you trying to incorporate lag and angle into your swings, getting that end of the grip to point at the target. Guys, there we go, the best swingers in the world. Which one do you think is the best? Glad, I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, leave your comments underneath and check out worldclassgolf.com and craighansongolf.com for online lessons.